Hello and welcome to this new session of online lesson. Without further ado, let's begin. Today we are going to look at input devices. An input device can be described as the peripheral device that we use to send out signals to the computer system. A computer system cannot do the processing without receiving some input from the user. Therefore, these devices are used to send raw data processing to the system. Types of input device. So we have two types of input device. Firstly, we have the manual input device. Devices like keyboard, mouse, and scanner are manual devices that require the user to manually input the data for processing. And the second type of input device we have is a direct data entry devices, known as a DDE. Examples include smart cards, optical mark recognition, and so on. These devices automatically transfer the data from the source file, example barcode, to the computer. For the purpose of your syllabus, you need to know these different input devices and how these devices work. So we have the mouse, keyboard, concept keyboard, 2D and 3D scanner, graphic tablets, touchscreen, microphone, QR code reader, digital camera, interactive whiteboard, barcode reader. We also have sensor, which we'll look at the end of this video session. So first input device, mouse. It can be wireless or wired and allows the user to control the cursor or pointer movement on the screen. The user can control the mouse coordinate or movement by moving it over a flat surface. The mouse has two to three buttons. With the mouse, object can be clicked or moved. Folders can be opened by double clicking or option of the folder can be seen by using the right click button. Today the mouse has become optical, that is the user's laser to track the movement. The next input device is a keyboard. The keyboard can be wireless or wired. It is an input device that allows the user to enter commands or data by pressing keys. When a user presses a key, an ASCII code is sent to the computer. A keyboard contains over 100 keys and this can be divided into four categories. That is, the function keys contain 12 function keys from F1 to F12 that perform special functions. Numeric keys contain numeric digits 0 to 9, have arithmetic sign of plus multiplication, division, subtraction, and a decimal point. Cursor keys contain arrow of left, right, down, and up. And the main keyboard, which contains the alphabet, special characters, and so on. The concept keyboard is a keyboard that has keys that are programmed to perform special tasks and have visual images on them instead of letters, characters, or numbers. For example, a restaurant counter representative may have this keyboard with different meal button and so on. Today, these keyboards are replaced by virtual concept keyboards or touchscreens. Microphone. The microphone is a transducer that is converts energy from one form to another. It is used to take analog sound wave as input it then converts the sound wave into electrical signals that the computer system can understand. There are different types of microphones available, but they are all a diaphragm. A diaphragm is a piece of paper, aluminium, and so on, that vibrates when a person speaks into the microphone. These vibrations are then converted into electrical signal. Digital camera. It is used to capture images or videos by sampling light from time, spatially, internally, and store on a memory card. Spatially means sampling the angle of view into a rectangular grid of pixel. Turnally means sampling the very varying turns of brightness, and time sampling means exposure of a given duration. Unlike the traditional camera, a digital camera uses an image sensor made of silicone that is sensitive to light. Digital cameras also contain a display screen with option to change settings. The display screen also allows the user to view the captured image or video. 2D scanners. 2D scanners are input devices that help in converting 2D documents as well as images in a digital format. 2D scanners can be either handheld or flatbed. Some printers with a come with an inbuilt flatbed scanner with them. To boost the overall functionality of scanners, users can use it with a software like OCR or OMR. 
OCR converts document into computer-readable format. Through these scanners, it, an, an input device like a 2D scanner, but can scan 3D models. To achieve this type of scanning, radio waves, lasers, X-rays or light can be used. It is used majorly for security checking. It can be found in biometric devices and so on. However, continuous exposure to rays like X-ray or laser can be harmful. Interactive whiteboard. Just like the traditional whiteboard, interactive whiteboard also widely used for explanation or presentation in school and offices. It consists of a big touch screen that allows the images from the computer system to the interactive board. The board also allows to interact with different programs directly by using the dummy pen or finger. The dummy pen or finger can also be used to write or mark on the board while explaining during a presentation. Touchscreen. Touchscreen are input devices that are available in three types, resistive, capacitive and infrared. In capacitive touchscreen, an electric current is sent from all corners to the screen and touch location is detected is detected by the change in electrical current. In resistive touchscreen, there are multiple layers and touch is detected when the top layer touches a lower layer and electrical current changes. In infrared touchscreen, there are LED beams in the form of a grid invisible on the screen and the exact location of the touch is detected when the beam breaks because of the touch. So the touch screen is a touch sensitive and response it to is as well as the first electronic display to the user. Using the touch screen, the user can interact with the software by simply touching the screen by a finder or a dummy pen. The barcode reader. It is an input device that can read an image made of white and black lines. These lines represent digits from 0 to 9. The barcode reader is able to read the exact digit because the white and black surfaces reflect the light in a different way. With the barcode reader, it is, it is quick and easier to scan a series of codes as you don't need to type this code by hand. The barcode reader also helps in reducing the errors as compared to manual entry. A barcode reader also helps in the identification of item product in order to know the details about the specific product the user must refer to the database with all the details. QR code reader. A QR code reader is a, a capable of scanning the QR code. That is a pattern generated by a computer that can hold a modest amount of information, example web address, contact details, product details, and so on. An example of a QR code has been given to you on the bottom right corner. So, a user can access and read the information in the QR code by scanning it via the QR code reader. A QR code reader consists of three parts, including illuminator, decoder, and converter. The scanner illuminates the QR code with a red light, and the sensor detects the illuminated light, which is decoded by the decoder, and information is sent to the computer system. Mobile applications are also available on the Play Store and App Store that allow the user to scan QR codes. In the case of mobile, the information is sent to the mobile device. Sensor. A sensor is a device that measures a physical quantity and converts it into a signal which can be read by a computer system. Different types of sensors, so we have firstly temperature sensor. Temperature sensor can detect the temperature changes by me measuring the heat generated by a system or object. It can be used for controlling chemical process, monitoring temperature in a greenhouse, controlling a central heating system. The next sensor is the moisture or humidity sensor. Humidity sensors measure the moisture in the air, while moisture sensors detect the amount of moisture in a material. These are used in moisture level in uh, industries, monitoring moisture level in industries, or monitoring and controlling humidity levels in greenhouses. Light sensor. The light sensor can detect the ambience of the surrounding. The ambience refers to the level of brightness or darkness. Application can be used for controlling street lights or automatically turning on vehicle headlights and so on. 
infrared or motion sensor. This sensor can detect the movement or heat produced from an object. Normally used for burglar alarm system, automatic door, and so on. The pressure sensor. This pressure detects the pressure. Uh, there are a number of pressure sensors including resistive pressure sensor, piezoelectric pressure sensors, and strain gauge type. Uh, the application most of the time in weight machine, a burglar system, and so on. Acoustic or sound sensor. It is used to detect the noise levels in the surrounding. Again, used for burglar system, leakage detection system, and so on. The pH sensor. It detects the type of material that is acidic or alkaline, uh, typically used in greenhouse or in river monitoring for contamination and so on. Magnetic field sensor. It uh, can detect the change in the magnetic field used in mobile phones, in car detection, in traffic lights and so on. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, click on the subscribe button. Uh, leave a comment on how the channel can be improved and click on the thumbs up. Until then, see you guys next time.